So eventually what's going to happen with a 3D printer is the belts that are used for the X and Y axis will eventually either stretch out and become really unreliable or just straight up snap and break. Now, you can simply get replacements that uh, are from the manufacturer of the printer that are pre-crimped and the exact length you need, but what I decided to do was to get some better belts. These are genuine Gates branded belts that are fiberglass reinforced. Now, Gates is a well-known manufacturer for timing belts. I believe they even make belts for internal combustion engines. And when it comes to belt pulleys for 3D printers, a lot of people like to say that Gates really is the way to go. So I'm going to get these on and I'm going to show you how to put them together without really even having to measure anything because it's really simple. So these timing belts have teeth and when you fold it, the teeth lock on top of each other and they're not going to move. So instead of using a brass crimp on the end, all you really need to do is fold it over and then tighten it up with a zip tie and then you've got yourself a fastened end that's not going to come undone. Just clip the zip tie and then you can put this part into one of the receptacles that your belt system goes into, which is kind of hard to see in here, but on the back you can see we've got these two spots. So to start out this process for fishing the timing belt through, you want to start at the bottom and take your loose end, snake it around through here, up over the gear, on the top of the extrusion all the way to this side, around the pulley, and then you can create your little zip tie knot and put it in place. For the other side, you want to do it in a certain way to ensure you have the best proper length that you can make. To do this, ensure that if you have a belt tensioner or even if you just have a regular tensioner to loosen it up so that way once uh, you place your final positioning for the other side and lock it in place you have some ability to add some tension to the belt whether you're using uh, this type of tensioner or whether you've got the stock tensioner it gives you some ability to ensure that uh, nothing is loose so by having this as loose as it can go while still being in place it makes it easier to place the belts and then we just kind of fold it and then zip tie it and we'll tighten this up once you're absolutely sure you've got the kind of length you want it to be go over to your tensioner and assuming you did it while it was on low tension you can now tighten it up you should have a nice, firm, but not too tight. You don't want to over tension because then you could uh, damage your, your uh, stepper motor, uh, the shaft that connects to the timing belt. And uh, once you got it just about right, you can finalize your setup by clipping off the leftover of the zip tie and the leftover of the timing belt and you should have plenty left over depending on how much you ordered so this is five meters and that's way more than you'll need for an ender three but if you got like a core xy system that uses a lot of belts you know you can get them in bulk or if you just want to have leftover for the inevitable this makes it rather easy to go about replacing the belts and of course last but not least do yourself a favor and auto home your system to ensure that all the things you've just done are working properly. And if they are, you're good to go.